are the best possible central midfielders and attacking midfielders available in the Premier League for FC24's Ultimate Team. Episode 5 already in this series. I hope you watched the goalkeepers, central backs, fullbacks, CDMs, because now it's time to become the central midfield master on the camp position as well. If you loved the video, leave a like, subscribe, and put on the notification bell. Let's go! Do you want to build a team you always dreamt about, but you don't have the coins? No worries! Go to u7buy.com, the best possible place in the world for your fat coins. Use the code VIVA for a massive big discount, and you can get the wins you always dreamt about. As always, we are starting off with ultra cheap players. But once again, what do you want for a center mid? Every single episode I will tell you what stats are contributing the most to call a player meta and overpowered. So starting off with a center mid, you want all those stats at least 70 or higher. If you go for a dirty cheap player, sometimes you have a 60 stat in it. But if you see Bellegarde as a center mid, he's available to play with all those stats, only the shooting higher than 70. Gallagher coming close, defending 68, lowest stat. And for Mason Mount and Eze, they are cams, different rules. Center mid, you want the complete package. For a cam, you want speed, dribbling, shooting, and passing. The defending and the physicality is not that important. So the best cheap center mids, Bellegarde and Gallagher, best cheap cams, AZ and Mason Mount. Also, those players are nice to use in an evolution, by the way. And it's just a small step to upgrade those players because I'm not going further than 700 coins with Lucas Paqueta, Joe Willock, Matthias Nunez, City Card, his Wolves Card might be more expensive, and Ryan Gravenberg. We have center mids and camps combined. Once again, a center mid looks overall complete. Matthias Nunez is that guy. He also brings an 83 speed. Joe Willock, 81 pace. Ryan Gravenberg is defensively only 68 but he's great in the air and you can see it Lucas Paqueta he's a great playmaker but also his defending and physicality is top-notch for a cam not that important but if you want to play as an organized team it's always nice to have defending and physicality on a cam so these players are well known to play against icon players I must say I'm using Joe Willock at the moment with Matias Nunez in my 4 for 2 cheap Premier League side and I must say, they can rule the world. For 1.2k, you can get yourself James Madison. You might have done the SBC at the start. So you got the player of the month Madison card. You don't need this one. But for 1.2k, why not strengthen your midfield with this incredible playmaker? He's not as quick as Nunez. Even Paqueta is a little bit faster than him. But he is great on the ball. His killing through balls. His ball control, his through balls over the top, his crossing and passing, that is exceptional for James Madison. So for Tottenham in real life, he's a brilliant signing, but also in EASC 24, I must say he surprised me, especially on the ball, he assisted quite a lot for me. We're going to turn the page and we have an average prize category. Well, Viva, why don't you put the prizes on there? Well, guys, prizes are changing every single hour at the moment on the market, so I'm just putting it out there and you can look whatever you desire because the prize will be different in December, for example. Bruno Guimaraes and Joe Linton. After Joe Willock, we already find the second and third Newcastle star. Both of them are great and are now in my division rivals and weekend league squad. I'm honest about that. I am not a big spender. I love the road to glory for my feeling and all those players need to be saved up for. Bruno Guimaraes and Joe Linton also both have high, high work rates. So be aware of that. They are going to attack as well. So if you don't like that, on a center mid, you might use them in a different system with a CDM, for example, behind them. Want to know everything about the best CDMs to get for the weekend league in the Premier League? You watch the I button right there because I have the whole playlist for every single position in the Premier League that you will get so many more wins from. We go to a price tag of around 15 to 20,000 coins and we find Bernardo Silva. And I must say, first I thought, 69 pace, this man can be anything special. But you know, if you played a lot of games, and I did, I played around 100 games in the first two weeks with the early access. And I must say, agility is key. Those women who are small, petite, but very agile are so hard to defend. They turn, they scoop turn, they, they twist it, they shake it, and it's hard to defend them. And Bernardo Silva is exactly that. He plays like a woman. And I, I mean that in, in a good way, because he's hard to defend, hard to tackle, and his ball control is just 
insane from a different universe. So yeah, if you use him correctly, you have one of the best playmakers available for you. We take the step to Kevin De Bruyne and you know we go to a price range of around 50k at the start of EAFC around October, but that price will only go down, I'm afraid, because Kevin De Bruyne is a 91 rated player, but he isn't a 91 rated player. What do I mean with that? Haaland, Mbappé, they're 91 rated, and you can see that on the price tag of 1 million coins. But De Bruyne is too slow, his defending is not high enough to call him such a super meta center mid. He's good for around 50k, don't get me wrong, but that is why the difference is there between Haaland, Mbappé and Kevin De Bruyne. Same overall rating, but not as meta in-game as you thought he could be. Because also long shots are pretty hard this season. The long shot attribute of Kevin De Bruyne is pretty much unusable. But once again, Kevin De Bruyne is still one of the best playmakers, and for 50k, it's still a steal. We turn the page once again, and now we have Cam's Cam scams scams flying your way i can't help it we already seen the best center mids so far in the premier league boys we have roziki 86 rated luckily a new arsenal star is there he will have an upgraded car but that is available for the bundesliga at his borussia dortmund time what makes roziki so good his well completeness is that a word completeness well he he's pretty much great all over the board looking to a cam what's important for a cam i told you pace shooting dribbling passing 83 81 86 88 i don't even care the defending and physicality is it's fine for a cam and riziki also feels so much better in game i played a couple of games against him i played a couple of games with him in the fun draft and this guy surprised me with his agility but also clinical finishing in front of goal martin udegaard there he is the captain of arsenal already got himself a team off the week card 88 rated martin udegaard 74 paces decent 83 shooting 89 Passing 88 dribbling. What might I say? This is the upgraded version of Bernardo Silva, for example. He's a great looking card. There is nothing I can tell about Udegaard that is not great. He's a five star skiller, by the way, as well. Has four star weak foot, correct me if I am wrong. And he's just a great asset in your squad. He might look like a slow cam, and people might prefer different players like Kai Havertz, for example. But trust me, with Martin Udegaard, you got yourself the ultimate playmaker in your team. Well, ultimate, ultimate, you can see there is only one man that is still better and i will show him right now and that is bruno fernandes road to the knockout stages and for man united that was back in the day a guarantee knockout stages check but now after losing two games the opening game and now against galatasaray in the theater of dreams it's like the theater of nightmares nowadays they are down bottom of the grip zero points two games played and now they have to play two games against Bayern Munich, I believe it is, correct me if I'm wrong, or a different big team, but they have to play against a fierce opponent. So for Barcelona, last year, they didn't make it through the knockout stages. Man United might be this year's Barcelona. And for everybody who packed or invested in Bruno Fernandes, playmaker road to the knockout stages, that might be a big disappointment. They might turn it around, but they need to win two games right away. And that will be a tough task for them. Still, Bruno Fernandes is the best. He could have gone up to a 92 rated player or 91 correct me if i'm wrong in this one but i'm afraid he will stay 90 rated still still he's one of the best out there but once again he could have been so much better if you love the video leave a like subscribe put the notification bell and if you guys want to see everything just click the i button i made a whole playlist for you it's so easy click the playlist sit back listen to it and build your steam about the best premier league players available for your budget thanks for watching and if you click the i button i'll see you back in the flash okay Bye.